Hi, this is Jerry Jenkins. Uh, when I teach, uh, I tell my students that they should get used to debugging uh, by just using simple print statements. So in Python, we're going to show you uh, uh, basic uh, debugging with print statements, but then we're going to show you a module you can use to improve that and with some code uh, by using the Python inspection module. You can automate some of it and make it a lot easier to use print statements uh, with a little bit more information. So we're going to cover some debugging with print statements. Uh, we're going to add some formatting to that. And then we're going to look at the uh, what to do using self-reflection and create a variable dumper where you just give it a list of variables to dump. Um, so this will be interesting. And then we'll look at the walk through the code for that and show you an example. This tutorial does use Python uh, 3.6 F strings. So to use it, you may have to convert it uh, uh, convert the F strings to form dot format if you're going to use it on a, a lower version of Python than 3.6. So we'll start with a simple thing. Uh, here is a, a a binary search uh, function where you give it a sequence and something you're searching for T, and it does a binary search. So it has a min and max index, and it uh, looks at mid indexes, and it decides what direction to divide and look for it. So if we were going to debug this, we might want to print some information. Uh, for example, where are we in the search? We might want to print uh, the, uh, the min index and the uh, mid point index and the max index. So this is what you might do if you're just uh, without using a debugger if you just want to put some print statements in to see what's going on. Uh, and then you might want to put a print statement up here uh, the print the actual sequence you're searching and what you're searching for. Uh, so that's a pretty simple thing to do. So let's go ahead and run it. And you can see it's it's calling it three times with this uh, sequence here, and so it gives you the sequence calling it looking for eight. So here's the, it uh, actually doing the binary search. It eventually gets to index number four is where it found it, and here it's searching for 95 and eventually finds it at index 15, and here it doesn't find 13, uh, so it eventually returns minus one. Uh, but you can see we have a nice printout of everything, but it'd be nice to label this. So usually if you're debugging with print statements, you end up then labeling it. And if you're in Python 3.6, you might use F statements. So you might do something like this, uh, F colon uh, sequence um, colon sequence and T colon and then print uh, T out and Maybe you have a space between those. You do all this work and you get a nice result. So if I add that, I now have a more fancy, a fancier print. So it says, here's the sequence and here's the value of T. And so you start doing simple debugging like this with print statements and you're ending up doing a lot of work. Uh, so we're interested in doing a, uh, a function you could call and just pass it the name of the variables that you want to output and it would give you something like this. So how would we do that? So we're going to look at the inspection module. So I just googled inspection. And here we have the inspection module. So that you can see here it inspects uh, objects like modules, classes, method, function, tracebacks, frame objects, and code objects. And it's actually very long. So we're just going to skip to the code. Okay, so let's actually look at uh, using the inspect module now. Uh, so I import inspect, and I define a uh, a function called varDump, and you give it a variable, a string with a list of variables in it, separated by uh, spaces, is how it's going to work. So here's what we're going to use inspect. We're going to say inspect dot current frame, and this returns the current frame here, and then we call to get its member f back which uh, from the inspection documentation is actually the preview is the caller's frame. So now we have the caller frame, I call it the preview frame. And then we're going to get frame information in that frame. So we pass preview frame to get frame info, which is a method of inspect. And we get the frame info. And it has a lot of different properties, uh, one of them being the file name. So we could get the full file name, but I'm just interested in getting the module name. So we call um, get module name and pass it the path to the file name 
and we get the module name and then I use an F string to just format the module name the line number which is also a part of the frame info you can get called line no and then we're going to get the name of the function that called us uh, so it'll give us the context of where we're calling and so that'll print out a little header and then we go to a new line and we're building a string here uh, and I'll show you later you could modify this to return the final string if you want to do logging with this instead uh, so then we get names which gets locals from the previous frame the locals are all the variable namespace from the previous frame and we're only interested in, in using the variables listed in the string um, so first we split the string by spaces so we have a list of the variable names using a comprehension so we're going to build a uh, an output that's going to have the name of the variable and uh, the representation of the data for that name so it looks up in names local space the actual value at name n so that's basically what it's going to dump for n in the var list so basically it's going to look up every variable in the var list inside names and it's going to pin that to output uh, and join it with commas and then output it so it has a little test here uh, it, so it defines some variables and calls var dump uh, and prints out it's going to print three variables here and two variables here and we'll run this and show you how it works and there it is it gives you the module name and then the line number in that module that called var dump and then what method was the caller's method and then it gives you uh, uh, the name of the variables you specified the first one is specified greeting a list and a list uh, actually I did a list twice so you can see it does that and then the second one I did uh, a count amount and count so it outputs it amount and count and I use the the representation call so that it puts quotes around hello so you can see that's a string and so that's it uh, you can just copy this if you go to the description of the video there will be a, a link to get a gist uh, so you can get this code uh, but it's pretty straightforward you can try building it yourself so we're back to the original binary search and so we have to add an import statement and so we have to do from var dump import var dump and then we're going to add the first uh, var call to var dump to output the sequence and t variables so you just put the variable names with a space and then we're going to go down here and add the uh, var dump to output our three indexes so we put min index, uh, min index, mid index, and max index and inside quotes if you're typing this you can leave the quote off and start typing and if you're in a something an IDE like uh, PyCharm uh, you can use auto completion to help type it for you and then add the quotes which is a nice technique so now we'll go ahead and run it and you can see we get a complete dump so for the three runs we get uh, when it enters it on line four so here's the first fair dump and then when it's uh, going through the loop on line 13 we see the dump here and then we see all the variables dumped out uh, so if you find this type of video useful please subscribe to my video uh, channel and uh, good luck programming.